Hey everybody, welcome to Airsoftology Mondays, the show that answers your questions, helps you in a pinch, and is also back to live streaming. I don't know, can you guys, yeah, you guys can see this on camera. And uh, I'm gonna say hi to everybody on the live stream real quick. Hey, live stream. Hey, by the way, live stream, you guys are, you're on Mondays. So say hi to the, say hi to the Monday screen, guys. Say hi. So um, if you guys don't know, I'm live streaming on an app called Live Me. I think I brought it up a couple Mondays ago. I've been really enjoying doing this. I've been trying to do it many times a week. I'm definitely going to keep doing this live stream thing. And this app has turned out to be pretty darn good for it. A lot of good people logging in. Uh, it kind of reminds you when people are on. been having a great time talking with you. If you guys don't have it, pick it up. It's free. It's live.me. It doesn't cost you a penny. Um, and you can just sign in. Uh, and once you sign up for it, uh, I think you can even sign in like using Facebook and things like that. So it's super easy. Um, then you I'll just look for your softology. I'm on there. And before we get into questions, I did want to tell you guys uh, how to get your question on the show. It's super, super simple. All you have to do is just put it in the comments and vote up your favorites. And sometimes it's not just the favorite ones to get on. So make sure you craft a really good question. So uh, the more creative, the more intelligent, uh, the better juicy question, the better chance it has of getting on the show. Also, I read every single question, but unfortunately I can't answer every single one, but you guys are so awesome to help out down there. But remember, yeah, put the question down there in the comment section. That's where I pull every single one of these from. And I might pull some from the live stream. I think some of the live streamers over here was uh, were recommending that we do that too. I think maybe next week we'll do a few live stream questions as well as from the comment section. So guys, uh, enough of me yapping and yammering. I'll be heading right on into what you're really here for. And that is the Palco Mail Call. Vector Steelhide writes, Hey Jonathan, me and my friend started playing Airsoft and we noticed that everyone was wearing heavy camo even indoors. I was wondering, does camo actually matter? And if so, how much? So camo indoors does matter a little bit, not as much as you think. I mean, you're talking about like playing tight CQB, coming around that corner and getting a shot, speed, accuracy, moving as a team, working as a team, and checking those corners, really working those angles are the most important factors. That said, perfect example is I went and played with the Node guys not too long ago and did a Trouble in Terrace Town series and then a zombie series with them. So a bunch of videos are coming out. If you guys haven't checked out Node's channel, they're huge. They do some great stuff, including some fantastic airsoft gameplay. Um, we were there. I was just wearing like regular civilian clothes or whatnot. I was like plaid shirt and all that kind of good stuff. But Brain Exploder was there with me. He's running a uh, multicam black camo. And he really was actually very difficult to see in there. It was kind of low-ish light. It wasn't like totally lights out. The lights were on, but it was just a little lower light than I'm used to playing, like especially outdoors or in a brighter arena. So yeah, him and that Multicam Black, he actually melded into the shadows, especially some of the against the darker walls, quite well. So with that in mind, I think the camo is just because, hey, they've got the gear they want to dress up or wear something thick where they don't get shot. It doesn't hurt as bad. That's kind of just makes it uh, kind of convenient. You'll also see the opposite, though, especially with the uh, traditional what they call speed softers or the speed you guys, where they typically wear like hoodies, dark color hoodies, a uh, beanie cap or something. And again, that's for protecting themselves. That's to make sure when they take that hit, it doesn't hurt as bad or actually break the skin or anything like that. Of course, I've seen the opposite and people wear bright colored t-shirts out there. Really? In indoor airsoft, it's about being small, working those angles, and knowing the field, and working together as a team. But in a small way, camo can help you. Cell 5 Airsoft writes, what are your thoughts on Nerf foam rockets as projectiles with grenade launchers? Do you think it become legal in airsoft rules? Actually, yes. Nerf in airsoft really is a thing, and at the big mill sim ops, pretty much all of them actually, do allow Nerf rockets in a 203 or any kind of 40 millimeter grenade launcher, and they do count as either splash damage kills. Typically, I think it's like a 10 or 15 foot radius from where the rocket hits the ground. So if you're 10 or 15 feet or away from that uh, in any direction, you're gone. And vehicle kills specifically. I know at American Milsim, they definitely do the vehicle kill. And I think the way they do it now, they used to do it hit anywhere. I think they do it now, it has to hit the front of the vehicle just so the driver can see it. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to tell there's one hit in the back. Um, I've also had it at a field uh, back at home, Bad Karma Airsoft. I know I mentioned them a bunch uh, in Nashville, Tennessee, where at my home field, where I originally got my start playing airsoft, they do allow if a rocket goes in a window or a door of a building, then that building is, everybody inside is dead. So yeah, they're actually very much allowed. Now, point blank, no, you're not going to want to shoot another person with these, especially if you're using CO2. And if you guys don't know how it works, it's not just like they, they kind of go and get shot out. You'll need a typical grenade launcher. You'll take a CO2 grenade, most likely. Green Gas works as well for shorter launches. For longer launches, you're going to want that CO2. And you're going to need a grenade launcher that's considered a high-powered one, or a grenade shell, I mean, that are high-powered. Mad Bull makes some great ones. Uh, 
Knights, um, or King Arms makes some good ones too. I've got some of the King Arms ones. And I think probably the best one on the market is the Mad Bull PB4, which actually is designed to take four paintballs or four rubber balls in there. Uh, the best thing to do with that is you just fill it with CO2 using the Mad Bull filler or another brand filler using a 12 gram cartridge, and then you get plenty of power to launch that rocket. I mean, some of these I've seen really fly, and I've seen guys build homemade rocket launchers that are insane, that launch even the bigger Nerf Vortex footballs. So yeah, I mean, I think Nerf in Airsoft is a real thing, and I like the realism it adds, uh, being able to take out buildings and structures. If you're having a tough time taking it over, to bring that guy in that has that M203 or that six gun launcher or the six round launcher, or even like a standalone launcher and be able to take out a building or a vehicle is super cool. JH702 writes, hey Jonathan, curious, is there any targets out there that trap the BBs? I do some shooting in my garage and yard and they bounce everywhere. Love the show, thanks. Absolutely, in fact, I have one. I do my chronos here. If you guys don't know, I'm, I'm in my RV. I travel around the country and I do airsoftology out of the RV. So when it comes to chrono testing and shooting, I kind of need to do it in here when I actually test my gun. Sometimes I'm in places and fields and shops where I can do it outside, but I needed something where I could use it in here. So short version is absolutely, it's actually made by Pete Force. It's a BB trap. It's actually a target designed for it and it will take rounds up to about 500 feet per second before you run into an issue. So it's called the P4 is Portable Airsoft Target with BB Trap. And actually, you know what? I'm going to put a link up for you guys. So if you guys are interested in that, I will have a link right down below in the description to take you over so you can check it out. It's actually really affordable. It's like well under $20. It's kind of one of those, if you've seen window shades, have you seen those um, where you kind of like roll them up into a small little ring then you take the elastic off and it expands out to something big? It's made kind of like that. It's got a bunch of stuff that hangs down in the center and uh, layers of different material that hang down to stop that BB in there. And I've seen some fields, and I've actually shot well over 400 feet per second guns in there, uh, like DMRs, never had a problem with it penetrating, overpinning, trading through into it. And it's super small. I mean, it's the box itself is about that big square, but it folds down to a ring. In fact, I should have probably brought it here to show you guys what it folds down to, and it's camouflage. This is definitely a fantastic solution, and again, a very affordable one. All right, guys, that's it for questions this week, which means it is time for the Code Red Headsets video recommendation of the week. That's right. And this one, I have to keep going back to this channel. It's my new, like, fun time channel to watch when it comes to Airsoft, and it is Matt the Musketeer. And this one is Search and Destroy Prison Combat. Yes, they are actually at a prison fighting. And I, I'm, again, so jealous. All of you guys in the UK that watch the show, uh, you guys have some of the most amazing places to play. I know, like, I see comments from you going, oh, you guys have, the, like, the awesome Milsom events. I think you guys have the most awesome skirmish sites out there uh, in the UK. I have to come over. I want to spend, like, three months over there so I can go play. But enough of me gushing about you. Definitely check out this channel, guys. If you haven't followed Matt the Musketeer, I know not too long ago he broke 100,000 subscribers, and he is now rocketing past that. I think it's like 117,000 at the time of this video. And just keep on going. And there's a good reason why he puts out really great quality airsoft gameplay videos with fantastic narration. In fact, he, he brings his narration over from the video game world where he got his start and he moved into airsoft after video games. So a uh, really fun channel to watch. And of course, uh, you can tell he's a Battlefield fan with all the Battlefield kind of sound effects and especially his opener. So if you guys haven't checked it out, check out Search and Destroy by Matt the Musketeer. And if you haven't given him a subscribe, definitely go over there and hit that button. All right, guys, that's it for this week's Airsoftology Mondays. As always, thank you for hanging out here. And like I said at the beginning of the show, comment section below is where you want to put your questions to get on the next Mondays. I read every single one and I try to save those. So there's a lot that don't ever make it on the show that I do save for future shows. So if you guys don't get it on the next show, don't be discouraged. I am paying attention. Keep putting them down there. Keep voting up your favorites and I'll get them on the next show. Oh, also before I forget, Airsoftology patches. I've got some newish ones coming in soon, but I do have just a few of those Airsoftology classic logo in browns left. And I've dropped the price of my mid cap suck. Uh, I sold out of the high cap suck video uh, patches, but I dropped the price in half on the mid cap suck. So if you guys want to go uh, grab some Airsoftology swag, I've got a few of those browns in the classic logo in PVC on the site. And again, they're free shipping anywhere in the world. So when you click the link, I'll put a link over here to the store or whatever. And of course, down in the description, so you guys can uh, click it, check it out and head on over there. Um, like I said, free shipping anywhere worldwide. So as long as I can put it in a post uh, mailer and get it out to you guys, it doesn't cost you guys any more than the price you see on this the, uh, website. Boy, I can't talk today. <laughs> anyway, before my mouth falls apart and I can't talk to you guys anymore, thank you so much for being here. And until next week, go out, play some airsoft, learn to talk better, I, I do. And <laughs> no matter what you do, call your freaking hits. <laughs>